What's going on YouTube, it's Mark Cannon with My Computer Career, and today on Unboxed, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Razer Kraken Ultimate Headset. Now, as usual, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the end of this video, where I tell you how you can win this headset and the stand for yourself. Razer is a brand synonymous with gaming. I mean, their tagline is, for gamers, by gamers. So let's see what we have in the box of these two. So in the Kraken Ultimate headphones, we've got the headphones, and looks like some documentation, and there's probably a sticker in there, and that's it. That's that's going to be the quickest unboxing in history. Let's see what's in the uh, base station chroma here. Likewise, we got the base station itself and some documentation. So that's it. That's uh, not a lot in the box of these two. But boy, those are pretty slick looking, aren't they? Now the headset features aluminum and steel construction. It has this nice braided USB cable. Now, unfortunately, this USB cable is a miss on a few fronts because it's not USB-C and it's not detachable. The ear cups themselves are cooling gel infused cushions, which they claim are comfortable to wear over eyewear. I think we'll just test that claim. Actually, those are really nice. You can tell there's cooling gel in there because they're almost cold to the ears. But yeah, those are really good. Now inside these ear cups is a custom tuned 50 millimeter driver. What's interesting about this, this headset is it features THX spatial audio. Now spatial audio is supposed to surpass traditional 7.1 surround sound and produce positionally accurate audio in a 360 degree sphere for more realistic audio depth. This heightens your awareness of your surroundings and allows you to locate opponents with greater precision even before they're within sight. This is ideal for avoiding flanks and setting up your own ambushes. At least that's what they claim. So when you're playing CSGO, you should hear footsteps better and be able to find your opponent easier. I do want to take a moment and break down 7.1 surround sound though. Essentially, if you're seeing a home theater set up for instance, you would need eight speakers and it would be in a box. Three speakers evenly spaced uh, in the front, two off to your left and right, and then two behind you in the corners. The point one comes from the subwoofer, which is just focused on the low end sound. In a home theater setting, this would be great. I'm not sure how you translate this box into two 50 millimeter drivers. The THX button is on the back left ear cup. The button toggles on the spatial audio. There's a white LED indicator to let you know it's been enabled. The dial right next to it actually raises and lowers the volume of your computer rather than raising and lowering the relative volume of the headphones. This is a really interesting feature. I'm a big fan of this. Now you're going to get the most of this headset by using Razer Synapse 3 where you can EQ the sound, change the lighting effects, enable or disable side tone. This is an interesting feature. Side tone uh, coming from the world of video production, uh, in a comm, side tone is the amount you can hear yourself in your headsets. They should reclassify this as the narcissist setting, but I digress. Regardless, I love to hear myself talk because I'm a narcissist. No, actually it's because I like that confirmation that I'm, my microphone is on. If I hear myself, I know the microphone is on. Plus, I'm a huge narcissist. Now, the side tone is one of those things, either you love it or you hate it. And you'll have to kind of decide that for yourself. Personally, I love being able to hear myself. So moving on, there is this cool retractable unidirectional active noise canceling mic right up here. And this is really cool because there's an LED light on the end of it. And you can see whether the mic is muted or not. A simple squeeze and there's a little button on the top and bottom there. And that'll unmute and mute the mic. It's real easy, just like that. Now, one of the features I found really interesting is if you're all about the RGB life, Razer Chroma is now compatible with Philips Hue. So if you have Philips Hue lights in your gaming room, you can sync your Razer gear all up with your Philips Hue lights. 
All in all, I think these headphones are really well built. They feel amazing. That cooling gel is actually really cool. I'm a big fan of that. Um, and if I'm being picky, the only thing I don't like is there's really no rotation on the ear cups. They don't turn in and out. And that they're really designed for PC only. Um, these, are, the, these will work with an Xbox or something like that, but you're not gonna get the most out of them. The spatial audio isn't gonna work or anything like that. But they fit great, they feel fine. The MSRP on these headphones is $90 direct from Razer. But let's face it, you can't just lay these things flat on your desk. So we also purchased the $70 stand. Now this stand is a USB hub. It's got two USB 3.1 super speed ports as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a built-in DAC, which stands for digital to analog converter and RGB lighting at the bottom. So this will also sync with the Razer Chroma RGB. Now this setup looks great. And if you'd like to see it on your desk, all you have to do is feed the YouTube algorithm. Simply like, subscribe, and leave a comment about how you're gonna use these headphones, and we will pick one lucky winner from that lot. In the meantime, if you like this gaming content, be sure and check out my unboxed of the Logitech G Pro X Keyboard Shroud Edition. And as always, thanks for watching.